through partnership and Brighton Permaculture Trust, we've supported the creation of a local orchard group. So there's a real range of people involved in the site. Corporate groups visiting volunteers from around the city and, and beyond the city as well. There's a real range of reasons why people get involved from wanting practical skills through to just feeling that they want to make a difference. Three years ago we started on site here. It's been developing and we'll have all the trees in by the middle of next winter. That'll be a couple of thousand shelter trees around the outside and about 210 grafted fruit trees. My name's Laura and my son is Cherno. He's nine months. I feel more confident, um, especially with the baby, of what I cook him. I can make meals now and it's nice to know what he's actually eating. He eats everything now, so yeah, loves it. chefs uh, work their menus around what's seasonal and we try and buy things as local as we can. Students only have so much money in their pocket. They imagine that they're going to get the cheapest of the cheap but no that's not what we do at all because smart eating equals smart learning. This is a weight management group for Arabic speaking women. We have a translator and an interpreter. They come in and they get some nutritional information and then they get an exercise session. Every week they're learning something new. Literally they realise the simplest things that they were eating constantly and taking for granted is actually what's making them put on the weight. So the Food Waste Collective is a volunteer-led group who are very passionate about food waste in the city. We take surplus donations from various different local businesses and we redistribute them to charities and groups in the community that feed their service users. If we weren't taking this food, it would be going into the bin. Rather than filling bins, we want to feed bellies. <laughs> Today Zips Out, basically we work with Key Stage 1 children all over Brighton Hove. We introduce them to new sports, fruit and vegetables. Today we had cucumber and for our school we had netball. I think it makes a lot of difference. I mean a lot of these children don't play sports already sort of thing, so they get to try out a new sport every week. The food partnership is great in terms of they work with the parents as well because we get the parents in once a term. Um, so it does stick with them, it's not just sort of like an after school club. One really lovely part of my job is to organise and run Lunch Club, which is a eight week cookery course for people with mild learning disabilities who live on their own and get little or no support. What I'm doing at the moment, I've been taking some of the recipes home with me and then I've been showing my mum how I cook them and then once I've learned how to cook them with my mum, I'm going to learn and try to do it all, uh, all by myself uh, back in my own place. Mm. The Brighton and Hove Food Partnership has a huge influence nationally. It's probably one of the two or three projects I'd refer people to and say, you've got to look at what's happening down there. I mean, Brighton and Hove has a long history. It started in 2003, and it started from a number of projects and a number of initiatives, but it soon realised that it needed to think more strategically about these issues, and hence from that the partnership came. That's what's unique. It's not just delivering projects, it's thinking strategically. One of the things looking at these deeper issues, going back to root causes, not just helping people in poverty, but the long-term strategies to stop people getting into poverty. I'm Chair Lady of the Purple People Food Bank. We have been running coming up to 22 months. At least we know that some of these people have had one substantial meal through the course of a week. Monthly we try and bring an advice worker in through the community. I have three people at the moment that have got some really bad debts around them and we brought in a team two weeks ago and it's in the process of being sorted now. You need a third sector organisation that's got respect, that's got dedicated people who are doing that. And I think having the food partnership there, getting that sort of community involvement is a great strength of the food partnership.
we are doing slightly better in Brighton Hove, and that's in part due to the work of the Food Partnership because our figures around childhood obesity are better than they are regionally and nationally. We've got more children who are a healthy weight, and we've got a good body of work with schools. We've lost a positive connection with food. And what I don't like to be is somebody's telling people not to do something. It's what we can do. And I think food's a great opportunity because food's there to be enjoyed.